gonna go <laughs> and I'm on a hill now. <laughs> so I. Okay, so we're going through inspection now. I just come out and you can see I'm shivering. That's how nervous I can get. <laughs> So this is all after inspection, so I have to change the steering rack, um, lower arm front bushing, lower arm front basically like he was saying 70% of the entire suspension needs changing, a few oil leaks here and there, the timing belt has oil leak, the air filter box is cracked a bit, uh, yeah, so I'm gonna ask for a cost. How much is it? We change all this. So I'm like, oh, okay. But um, he said piping looks good. Everything else looks good. Hey guys, so I am in my new car. Uh, for those of you who don't know, I actually bought a second Kalisa, a manual second Kalisa. A bit of backstory I've always wanted to own a manual because my manual skills is very basic. It's like, it's okay la, you know, I know the theory. I passed my driving uh, using a manual, I think Kanjil at that time. So I'm okay, but I want to get better whereby I am confident to go into any car, any manual car. Like, yeah, I can drive one instead of freaking out. Like now, my pits are damn sweaty because I'm a bit nervous. Um, so yes, I'm going to be taking you through the whole process of buying a second-hand car. So I went to see it and uh, I actually didn't intend on buying a car. It was really the typical friend's car like, hey, my friend's selling you one not. And I thought, it's a good price. It's a Kalisa. I always loved the bird world. Kalisa. Yeah, this is my new car. And uh, haven't changed names yet. So I actually went so when I went to see the car, I was okay with the car and then I decided that hey, I want to take it for an inspection first and know what I'm getting myself into before purchasing the car. Went for inspection, I think the total cost to fix everything, I'll list everything down here. It's about 1k plus 2k. So I thought, okay la, why not? And then uh, yeah, now we downshift. And then, uh, sorry, as you can tell, I'm very nervous. Except for inspection, everything was okay, about 2k to fix everything up. When I say everything, I mean everything. And uh, yes, now I am taking it to get fixed up before taking it to Pusmalcom because I'm afraid we are gonna fail. So yeah, now I'm sending it over to Jason. I'm not sure if you know, Chris Free sends his cars there a lot. Get it fixed up and then to Pusmalcom we go. I've been having a lot of fun driving this car around. Uh, I think it's a very good starter car because if you're in the wrong gear, you cannot, you cannot, you cannot, like there's no power, you cannot move the car forward. So you really have to drop gear and go into the correct gear, that's what I like. So I am learning my gears, where to, at which point of time to use which gear. So that is good for me, but it, there's no power steering, so there's a lot of free play as you can see. And the car is still going straight, so yeah. A lot of people ask me, those that don't know, ask Hey, are you going to change to like powered steering? I said, I don't think so. I kind of like that it doesn't have power steering. Yeah, got bragging rights with it also lah, like, you know. So yes, that's where I'm at. And right now I'm like, I don't even know what gear I'm on. I think I'm on fifth gear. So every time I still have to look down and like, what gear am I on? But yeah, I'm good. Saying it now to the mechanic. So I'll see you guys then. Bye. Okay guys, so my baby is there. Sent it in and yeah. Now we just wait. We're getting ready for our Puspa Com check now. Ha! Oh my nose. So the mobile van services. Check. So I'm with Fami now. He is currently checking my engine number. And uh, there's just a lot of gunk at the bottom. He was saying that it's normal with Kalisa's. And he's doing his best here. Very professional. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, that's the first thing he's checking. Engine number, whether it corresponds with your grant. Uh, make sure that you have your original grant and a photo standard copy. So the original one is with them already. He has his 
colleague checking, don't know what they're checking also lah at the back. I am here making sure that my car is good. Hopefully everything passes. Oh wow. Bang, you check apa ni ya? Ini kalau accident tak boleh tahu lah. Ah, okay. Okay. Just checking the condition of the car. My car also got own perangai. Right now, it's checking the tinting, which is no problem. Because as I understand, there's no tinting at all in the Kalisa. The three things that they checked was the engine number, the tint, and the rubber seals. So a tip from one of our friends is that it's actually easier to lose if you get the mobile car van to come to your place lah. A bit more expensive, like a bit more expensive for me, which is I think quite reasonable for the inconvenience. Mm -hmm. So what we've learned is the Kalisa actually doesn't even have any tint, but the tint was already what? He said 17% more and then you have failed already. So what we understood and what we learned is that if your windshield or your windows are a bit thicker, for example, like he was asking for his mini, if it's curved and it's a little bit thicker, then the VLT is actually higher. So when you apply tint, then the rate of failure is quite high as well. So you just go and check Postcom without tint law. That is like the safest bet already. So after we do Puskakom, then we go JPJ. Yep, so the owner goes to the to JPJ, puts thumbprint, then you as the buyer, you yep. thumbprint, then you collect the new grant. Ah, so there's no mobile service for that? Ah? I don't think so. Oh, but now it is closed, right? Yeah. So you just have to wait for it to open. Yeah, that's what the guy said. And the initial owner has to go first, so the ex-owner has to go first, then only I go. Yes. And it's valid for how long this Muspa Kong Inspection Ah, the inspection He said two weeks just now Two months Two months So it's valid for two months And if JPJ doesn't open in two months then We have to spend more money lah He said tunggu arahan kerajaan Yeah So yeah, that's it, that's it, that's it Yay Okay, bye So similar to every other household Lenny helped with a lot of my car stuff including this check he actually went online and he is the one who booked the inspection for me and I'm just like oh okay after this do it after that do it and it's quite nice to be quite hands off and be like oh okay my sayang is taking care of everything and also helps that he is an insurance agent ha <laughs> thank you <laughs> So yes, if you have any inquiries for your insurance, anything, whatever lah, can drop it in the comments below and I'll get him to answer. 